Hello and welcome to Manchester Library's um, half term craft activities. Um, the challenge that we've got for you um, today is um, to make your name in whatever you've got available at home. So there's going to be three different crafts to show you as examples where myself, Siobhan and Joe do the role create something that you might be inspired to have a go at at home. So the first one that we're going to do um, is this, is my name, which is Angela, which I've made out of um, the lid from a cardboard box. So there's the name I've already created. Um, and all I used was the top part of a cardboard box to cut off. Um, and then I've drawn my name out on this card. Um, I've just tried to even it out across the space of the card so however big a piece of card you have you can just divide it to allow for each letter of your name obviously you might have a really long name or a really short name so it'll look very different so that's what I did to start with and then um, I just got my tub of tapes and ribbons that I save from wrapping and all kinds of things like that. So I had all these already at home and I've used these to cover my name. So I've drawn each letter and then I've just covered the shape of my of each letter in different um, ribbons and tapes. The two A's I actually made 3D so I cut out extra letters to go on top and then I've wrapped those up in tape and ribbon just so that they stand out um, but you could use anything that you've got to make your own name and you might come up with something really really exciting so I hope you will have fun doing something like this you only need a card whatever you've got to hand and the only tools that I've used are some tape pencil scissors and a ruler. So I hope it keeps you busy over the half term and you can have some fun whilst you're doing it. Hi, I'm Jodie. To create my name out today, I will be using a piece of A3 white paper, two different wallpapers, some tin foil, some feathers from my pet birds, glue, and scissors. You can use whatever you like and you can draw it out first if you like but I am just going to do it freestyle. Hi everybody, we're going to be doing some salt painting today. So what we need is PVA glue, some general table salt, a piece of cardboard, so it might be a package that you've got lying around, an empty box, some water and some water-based paint. So the first step is we're going to write our name with the PVA glue. So I'm going to write my name Siobhan. Okay, next we need to cover the PVA glue with some salt. So I'm going to take my salt shaker and shake salt over my name that's in PVA glue. So cover it all completely and then once it's all covered, you're going to shake off the excess salt. Now you need to go and put that somewhere to dry. We're going to get our paints ready. So we're going to start making up our water-based paint colours so it's ready to use when, when we want to start painting our name. There we go. So we've got our paints ready. Now that this is dry, we can start adding the paint. Now see what happens when you add the paint to the salt. 
See, it, it spreads through the salt, so it makes quite a nice effect. So choose any colours you like, be as creative as you want to be. Okay, so once that's done, let it dry and then I've decided to uh, draw around mine with a felt tip just to make it stand out a bit more. Okay, that's it. So, try it out at home. Good luck. Bye-bye.